thank the Lord. And it goes back to what I was saying. How many people have we ran away from the church? How many sinners done turned away because of the church, folks? And I'm still talking about my boy, Light Jennings. Now this song called Made Up My Mind, I love this song. And the reason I love this song because I remember when I was going through some things in church, when I decided to, I was deciding even if I was going to continue to be a minister of music because I was so sick of church folks and, and trying to deal with being a minister of music. But see, people, if it wasn't for this song right here, I believe it came out in 04. See, it was a secular song, as the Holy and Die people want to call it. This song brought me to going back to church because after I listened at this song by Life Jennings, it made me decide, hey, I can still go to church in spite of, <laughs> I'm a I got to made up my mind, made up my mind that I'm going to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> because through it all, can we still serve God? That's why I'm so sick of people downing the rappers. You know, just like I was talking about I did a video, you don't know the glory behind somebody's story. And seeing Brother Life Jennings, I believe his first name is Chester. But Life Jennings was locked up since he was 14 years old. He he did about 10 years in the prison, I believe. But he used his time in prison. He, start, he was very talented. Very talented. He's very gifted. And he started writing and writing. And see, when he got out of prison, oh, his songs were so powerful. He got picked up by Sony, I believe. And, and, and they love what he what he was talking about. And when he did this song in 2004 called Made Up My Mind, he was strictly writing this for the church folks. And he was talking about how a sinner as himself was trying to go into church, but he wasn't fitting in. And how people was faking and shaking the Holy Ghost. And all he wanted to do was go to church. An old sinner like me. And I just wanted to, just like I did in the other video, I wanted to print this up and do it slowly. Because we too busy judging that we not listening. How many people have we ran away from the church when Jesus loved the sinners? And this is what he said in this song in the first verse. Like Jenna said, Lord, they really think they fooling you by coming to church on Sunday. Praying and laying hands on folks. Stomping and jumping around faking the Holy Ghost. But it's a thin line between walking it and talking it. Living it and giving it or just pretending it's all right. And and did they really think they could pull the wool over your eyes, Lord? Did they really think that by faking they were saved, they would get in the same reward? This will be the realest thing I ever wrote, for sure. After this, a lot of church folks won't like me no more. But after this, Lord, I got to answer to you, Lord. I got to go answer to you, Lord. So I made up my mind. I'm going to church on Sunday and sing a song that may hurt somebody's feelings so they may be, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And hopefully they will see how much they really be discouraging a little old sinner like me. See, people, it's a million life genders walking around trying to come to the church, wanting to be healed, wanting to be delivered. And we too busy running them off. See, I love this song. I love these lyrics. Church folks don't like it, but I love this song because I can, can relate. I can relate to how church folks are dog out and, and, and judge you. We're always talking about we need to change this and we need to be born again, but half of the people that, that tell you this don't even want to accept you as you are, thinking you're going to come to church I already saved. The church used to be a hospital. Now people come to church sick and still leave sick. Because we got more judges in the church. Look like there's more judges on the inside of the church than outside of the church. And then he came back in verse 2. Life said it like this. And Lord, who they think they be jiving by singing these songs full of glory? Then out in the world, it's a different story. I'm running out of people to pray for me. I'm not trying to act like I'm the perfect man. But if you speak about it, you should be about it, not just preach about it in all day. Because if you do, you will you do run the risk of chasing some of the most beautiful people away. Good God Almighty. And it is never my intention to discourage you, rather encourage you to change your life today. 
this be the realest thing I ever had to say. But after this, a lot of folks won't like me no more. But after this, I got to go answer to you, Lord. So I made up my mind, I'm going to go to church on Sunday and sing a song that may hurt somebody's feelings. So they, they will, so maybe thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And hopefully they will see how much they be really discouraging a little old sinner like me. I like what Steve Harvey said one time about people, especially like Life Jennings. He said, sometimes you just need to let them people get their guitar, come into church and let their feelings out. Because everybody can change. But there's too many people wanting to put you in the hell because they think their life is so great. Oh, God loves the sinners, but hate the sin. We all sin. Church or no church, you sin. You might have ate too much food today. That was a sin. You gossiping on the phone talking about the pastor and everybody else is sinning. Mm. Somebody fornicating right now, Christian and non-Christian, they sinning. You got more Christians that, that fornicate all the time, but they try to hide. See, I love this life, Janice. Made up my mind that I'm going to go to church. But they really don't know how they be discouraging a little old sinner like me. It's sad, folks, when people want to come to the church and get saved. Church don't want to allow it. Man, tell you, I'm not a perfect man. I know my faults. I know my mistakes. But I can change, too. Oh, God Almighty. He had another song when he was kind of relating it with the church folks. <laughs> when he said they won't let a nigga in with these timbers. See, we so quick to look at what people got on. He got You got some timberlands on. You can't come to my church with them shoes on. You can't come in my church with a blue jean outfit on. You look too gangster. You can't come in my church. Deacon, stop him at the door. I don't know that man. I don't. He might shoot the church up. We don't know nothing about him. We judging him. Don't know nothing about him. Oh, God Almighty. If we can get to the love that Jesus has. I'm so sick of fake Christians. I can't stand it. And people wonder why I can listen at the R&B and can relate to the songs. I can listen at the good and what people are saying. Because Life Jen has poured his heart out in his music. He reminded me of Apostle Paul when Paul was in prison. Paul used his time wisely to encourage people. Paul was once saw a persecutor of the Christians. All but when he changed and God changed him over to Paul. He is not Saul no more. See, we all used to be a Paul a Saul in so many ways. Excuse me. And it's sad that you got people thinking that they are converted over to a Christian and they still stuck in the world. That's what I love about people in the world. They keep it real with you. They keep it real and they don't hide it. They know they need help. They'll tell you they need help. They know what they do. Our problem is we want to keep reminding them of what they do. Oh, can we see the good in our people? And when I say our people, I mean all colors. I'm not just talking about black and white. I'm talking about all colors. Oh, man, can we can we see good? Can we forgive? Can we accept? Can we stop all this judging? Can we stop talking about all music is bad music? Can we stop focusing on music, sending people to hell? Can we focus on salvation? We quick to talk about the rappers and this and that, but what about these church folks committing adultery? What about these preachers that's sleeping around with everybody? What about these minister of music that's messing up the whole church by sleeping with the choir members and the praise team leaders? Oh, see, we want to we wanna pick out certain subjects, church folks. That's why I keep talking about relationship. Ignorant folks, man. People are ignorant of the word. I can't listen at that. Like Jennings ain't nothing but the devil. God Almighty. Whoa, be careful who you call the devil. See, you never know who you hanging around with. You might be entertaining an angel. You don't know what God is doing, and you don't know why God placed you to be in somebody's life. He didn't place you in their life to be a judge. He placed you in their life to encourage them, help them, pray for them, show them a way, instead of reminding them what they are and what they used to do. Church folks, we got enough reminders of what not to be, what not to do. Our life speaks for that. God Almighty. That's why I love all the R&B. Big shout out to all the R&B singers. Big shout out to the rappers. God bless everybody, not just these church folks. 
God bless the rappers. God bless the R&B singers. God bless the world. God Almighty said, I got the love like Christ. I ain't got time for all this judging. How many more people are we going to run away from the church? How many? By being stuck on stupid and religion. God Almighty. If Christ can walk with a sinner, I can too. Because I am Christ like and I got the power of Christ. So I can walk with that sinner like I do all the time, every day. I can go on that corner and talk to that sinner. Because when you look at the look at yourself in the mirror, you ain't too far from a sinner. You done seen the day too. Oh, we too busy looking at everybody else's life. So I got to get all the way real in this video. It's too many judges and not enough Christians. Yeah, I said it again. It's too much hate and not enough love. We claim to be all this about Christ. And we find out more and more church folks are doing more dirt than anybody. But we quit to talk about the rappers and the R&B singers. Somebody mad right now, OJT defending the, the secular people. He defending the rappers. He de No, I'm standing up telling the truth. I love my brothers and sisters. Whether you are sinner or not, I love you. I'm not here to be a judge. I am a messenger, not the enforcer. If we can get about the word of God like it teaches us to be, we can stop all this ignorance. We still want to live in this Willie Lynch syndrome like we keep talking about. God Almighty. Black man versus black man. Turn the black man away from the black woman. Still to this day, we living in the effects of the Willie, the Willie Lynch letter. We can't get no further as people because we cannot get for real with God business and Christians. Like I said in the other video, Christians are being torn, persecuted, and killed over there in China. And we got the nerve to be over here playing church. We playing with church. Can't forgive our brother and our sister. Turning the sinners away from the church. God Almighty. Preaching on everything but the realness about salvation. So I, I got to keep it real in this video. And somebody going to get mad at this video because I always tell the truth. I'm not here to make you feel good. It's not about judging folks. There is only one judge who is coming on the second coming. I say it again, he came as a healer and a savior, and he delivered, he preached in his teeth on his first coming, but the second coming of Christ, get ready, because he's coming as a judge.